hello friends hope you are doing well and welcome back to my channel no attack videos and this is the series of Windows server 2022 and today our topic to discuss is SPNs service principal names so let's understand what are the SPN and active directory and how we can add them and how they can benefit our administrator in day-to-day -day operations so before we move let's understand what is SPN service principal name so in active directory a service principal name SPN is a unique identifier for a service instance that is registered in the directory SPNs are used to associate a service with a service logon account enabling client to locate and authenticate the service so how SPNs work so SPNs can be used for service identifications such as e-service that uses Kerberos authentication must have a unique SPN associated with it to recognize the service the SPN typically consists of the service class hostname and port if applicable so for example HTTP and then slash server.example.com or ms sql svc slash server.example.com and with port number so this is for any application registrations we will understand more about this concept and the next point that is the service account the search uh, SPNs is associated with the service logon account as well which is the account under which the service runs this account can be either a user or a computer account in active directory and also the Kerberos authentication when a client requests a service it uses the SPN to locate the appropriate service instance and obtain a ticket for authentication the Kerberos protocols verifies the authenticity of the service using SPNs so this is all about uh, the SPNs and uh, in particular we will understand in day-to-day -day operations how we use them uh, with an example let's go to the domain controller so this is one of my domain controller and uh, the domain name is new attack videos and if we look at the domain controllers I have two domain controllers why I am showing you here so domain controller this is also a service provider computer there are services which are installed and running on this so if you look at the dashboard of this computer you can see these are the roles which I have installed on this server ADDS DSCP DNS and IAS and IPAM so it means this server is providing multiple services to the users or the end users so as per the definition this domain controller or this computer will be providing the services and must be using the SPNs let's take look on this so to check it out I am into the domain controller OU and I'll open the DC one and then attributes if you don't see the attribute editor what you have to do you have to go to view and then you have to click on advanced features and then you have to come to this path domain controllers now let's go once again and open the properties and click on the attributes editor there are plenty of attributes which are there against or uh, for this dc1 account so we have to look for a specific one and that is service principal name now this is also the attributes let's open this double click and if we take a look here So previously we discussed this comes in a form of the service and then slash then ID 
let's go back and check it out what are the services it is providing you can see here so the dns service this server uh, dc1 is providing here and this is the id this is another id i am not sure what is this about but this is also the service which is this domain control providing and gc this is gc server as well now you can see here from the background dc type this is global catalog server as well okay and host dc1 and host slash my domain id then host slash so these are by default created and you can see the next one that is ldap and with ldap you can see some name fqdns so ldap dc1 that can be recognized and ldap dc1 dot attack video dot com and here also some more examples dns jones so for ldap also there are multiple things which are being added so of course this generate the kerberos token for the users to authenticate and restricted krb host is dc1 and restricted krb this is one more and we can see the rpc as well so whatever services are installed here on this domain controller to uniquely identify in our network these are the SPNs which are being added so let's say for example you have built a server and that is your uh, application server and uh, to recognize this in the entire forest or across the domain computers we can add the service principal names also against the server so it would be unique across the domain so that the users can easily identify which server is running these services or the application services and which server it need to be connected to okay and uh, so this is uh, the domain controller let's take, uh, talk about the user account so generally if uh, we are integrating our uh, services or installing our services on the domain controller there might be some administrative services for which we need a service account and then we can integrate our service account to those services on that computer so for that account we can create the SPNs or the service principal name so how we can do it we have to go to the account and then again we have to go to the attribute editor and we have to look for the service principal names so here you can see service principal name and the format it would be same like this so if i am using a service as http and then this one also if this is installed with service let's try adding this one and here i have to give the my name server is dc1 dot then my id domain name noa hyphen tag videos dot com let's add it and the port is 1433 so why i am creating this i am creating this because this service or this name or the account name can be recognized in entire forest that this is running with ms sql services hosted on so and so service with port number uh, 1433 so this way i can add multiple service uh, principal names against the account and the similar job can be done through powershell as well so the commands are set spn then you have to give the user id and then the names so hope you understood what are the spns and how we can add it and how we can 
a huge creation of service principal names for user account as well as computer account and to isolate or provide the unique identification for those user accounts or service account or the computer name so that's it in this video and so let's catch up in the next video thanks for watching